I don't understand. If Mrs. Manning was unavailable or needed to reschedule, I'm sure... Well, you see, uh, Mrs. Manning was uh, called out of town for a family emergency quite suddenly. And, of course, that was just before well, we got the wonderful news that Child Services was ready to approve her as Langston's foster mother. However, I uh, do have all of the paperwork uh, right here. Yes, indeed. It's uh, signed and notarized. And, of course, I am available to answer any uh, initial questions or concerns that you may have. That's all well and good, but without the interview, I'm afraid... Well, couldn't you make this one exception and uh, schedule the interview at a later date? Well, if Mrs. Manning isn't available, I'd like to speak with her husband. Uh, Mr. Manning would love to speak to you. Excellent. However, Mr. Manning had to go out of town with Mrs. Manning to handle this uh, family emergency, but I'm sure the second uh, that it is resolved, uh, I can assure Does you... Does the husband concur with Mrs. Manning's decision to foster Langston? Concur? He's all for it. I can't seem to find his affidavit to that effect. Th that's because there isn't one. No husband and no affidavit. Well, here's the story. Mr. Manning has been out of town for a while. So there's while. no way to verify that he's even aware of the situation with Langston. Well... If that is the case, then there is no way that I can approve Mrs. Manning's application. In all the fantasies I've had about you, you've never been working at a job. Did you know that if you work for a living, the federal government takes taxes out of your paycheck? Shocking. Why are you doing it? I had an encounter with my conscience. Ooh, what was that like? Unpleasant. It's after this thing I had with Vicki Davidson. Ooh. No, not that kind of thing. The kind of thing that makes you want to be a better man. How's that working for you? I massage alcoholic starlets and upcharge for orange juice. How do you think it's going? Call's good and hidden, and I put mm. your things in the second bedroom place. Oh, thank you so much. We don't have much, so we won't be in your way. And I, I only had about five minutes to get everything together, so... Uh, well, we can probably find some for Aaron, huh? No, no, no. Oh, please don't. Please, you, you've already done so much for us. We're resourceful. Just let us see what we can do. You gonna grow up soon. And cause your mama all kinds of trouble, isn't that right? <laughs> Believe me, he's already started it. I will I'll put him down for two seconds. He'll turn around, you know, blink, and he'll be hiding somewhere in the apartment. <laughs> he won't even know where he is. Smart boy. And very fast. Gotta enjoy it, honey. They're a gift. Nothing less. He's my life. Right? Why don't you put him down in the room and let him get some rest, and I'll go make us all some food. Well, I, I'd be glad to help. Go on, scoop, and do what I told you. Okay, okay, but I am making breakfast. I'm making breakfast tomorrow morning. John, do you know where they are? Was that your FBI contact? <sighs> Ramsey suspects one of leaking information to us. Well, does Ramsey have proof? The mills were up to something. I can't let Warren jeopardize his job over this. Oh, no. No, don't let Warren jeopardize his job. It's just my son's life at stake here. And what's that compared to a man's pension? Hey, come on. What's it mean for us, John? It means after this one last favor, Warren's out. <sighs> what favor? I asked Warren to run background checks on all the employees at the at Faces in Decatur. It turns out one of his family wants. And that means... I overheard the club owner talking to someone on the phone back in the jail. And he told that person that by the time the agents got back and tossed the club, Marcy would be in the Big Easy. You had a lead and didn't tell me? What else are you going to keep me from? 